So today we get the new fashions. G and A. I'm excited. I am really excited. I saw a sneak preview of the crap they have going down the runway. I have so many pejoratives. So many critiques. I mean, the fact that you involve Giselle and style lets you know you're already making poor decisions from the jump, from the gate. Hell, not even the gate. Y'all exploded in the hangar. So we have to open the episode with a model search. Y'all could put that crap on some clothes hangers and run it down the runway. Ain't nobody buying your bull. The style is trying to style. I mean, Giselle, you really just don't have anything else to do. And we know Ashley bored. Ashley always looking for some business, somebody else's. But I guess if this is what you do when you get your own business, you may as well stick your, you may as well stick your face and your forehead in somebody else's. Y'all stressed about those sorry designs? I saw those designs, I ain't seen no stress. I did not see stress, I didn't see one furrowed bra. NECA and her fertility journey, best fiends. Boy, this scene goes on and on. I don't need to see his sperm. I don't need to see it. Oh, Lord. This is not National Geographic. The only eggs I'm interested in were at Trader Joe's for $3.99. Oh, God. Over with me and her coot. They're still trying to fix this marriage. It's hopeless. That coot should know. She was only keeping him for the coin. They ain't humping no more. Because he ain't got no coin. If a coot wants coot, you gotta have that coin. Hold hands and look into each other's eyes. He needs time from her and she need money that you ain't got no more because you decided to embezzle, allegedly. Oh God, now we got Candace with her therapist. Getting a lot of levels done. Boy, they started this episode weak today. But I started the day strong. I went to Trader Joe's. I went to my favorite bakery that has the good bagels, Wise Sons. And then I went to uh, Safeway. Because you got to go to two grocery stores in San Francisco. One for your healthy food and one for your crap. Oh, God. Mia and the girls, I guess, are getting together for what? Mia and NECA, Candace, Ashley, and her forehead. So who are these heifers getting together to take down? Oh, I guess nobody since Karen is also arriving. Mia got a magazine article and she talking about they celebrating women that are trailblazers. What trail have you blazed? You're a stripper who married a coot that embezzled. Sorry, that's Erica Jane's lane. You're not even original on the show. Trailblazer. You ain't the first hoe heifer. That was Jezebel. Women that are influential, who has been influenced by Mia? Who wants to grow up and be a Mia? Who? Who wants to get in bed with her coot and earn their money that way? I know I don't. So she invites everybody else to be in the spread with her. However, NECA ain't got no tie-in, so she said no. However, NECA is not going to be included. Why not? She's on the show. She don't have enough tie-in. She's on the show with you. She is the tie-in. Mia gonna say no shade? This doesn't make any sense to me. Why wouldn't this person want the new cast member? So now we doing our little photo shoot. Oh God, Gabrisi trying to be Beyonce? Karen's going as Lena Horne. Now that I can see. That, especially after meeting her, I can see her as Lena Horne. Ashley is Dorothy Dandridge. No, Heffa, you don't have the poise or the energy, the charisma. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. That's not you. Mia wants to be Pam Greer. No, sorry. Pam Greer again had class and substance. She wasn't a skeezer. Wendy is Cheryl Lee Ralph. I can kind of see it. I, I can kind of see it. There's some substance there. Just... Rob the Throb wants to be Mariah Carey? You off-key bitch. No, absolutely not. Who would my icon be? I think I could probably give y'all a really good Paul Mooney. I, I think that's who I would be. I, I, would be. I would be the incomparable, the effervescent, the eternal Paul Mooney. That's, that's who my icon would be. 
Rob the Throb is opening a franchise, child. She will figure out how to throw your money away in 10 seconds. Ooh. Okay, I need to get curtains because I can hear I'm, I did laundry today. So I just put up like a lot of clothes that are still like wet. And I can hear the sound, and they're wet too, so it really dampens the sound. And I can hear the difference. I can hear the difference. Do I sound better? Let me know how I sounded in the beginnings of the video versus the ends. Oh, Wang gonna say I could run this space if you need me to. Well, you don't have a job. And your coaching prospects look pretty sparse. So yeah, we could put you at the front desk. But then again, you'd be fucking half the clientele. And the place would get shut down over a sexual harassment lawsuit. Remember in the 80s when we would say harassment rather than harassment? Well, other people would say harassment. I always said harassment. But I was like, harassment? Where is the I? Well, Rob, since you 100% don't care, we 100% don't care about your plot line. Best fiend. Giselle's father is sadly taken ill, but now we've got Wendy's uh, pilot. I hope she can be a solo star, because I don't know how much longer she got on this show. I feel like I'm her only fan. They gave us a cute slice of the show. I hope it does well. If they had given us a little bit more, we could have seen if we liked it or not, but it has hope for me. An elevated version of Sister Circle. All right, now it's time for the fashions. I'm with Wendy. Is this an April Fool's joke? Well, there'll definitely be some fools ordering it in April. Not us. Not us. But I'm sure if you want to pick up something cool from the housewives, you'll head on over to the Biffa Emporium. <laughs> oh, God. So this is the night of the skirmish, I think. Um... And we see the Muppet walk in, and the music just goes, ee! Oh, why is she here? You know, I have so many pejoratives. So the Muppets say hi to Wendy, and she like, huh? Who invited Charissi? Ho, ho, ho! Ho, ho, ho! All right, now let's get these garments going down the runway. Everybody looks like shit. I said, everybody looks like shit. Yeah, yeah. Bunchy, clumpy, cheap material. I mean, y'all didn't even try. Y'all went to She by Charade's seamstresses and said, look, we need some shit that these heifers can put on. Oh, Lord. I can't even roast what is a waste of time. Y'all didn't even put any effort in. This isn't even Gordon Cottrell. And why are there so many short shorts to show off Giselle's stovepipe legs? Ashley said, it's crazy to see this come to fruition. Do you see any fruition? I don't see no fruition. I don't see any fruition. Where's the fruition? Find it. Find the fruition, boy. Find the fruition. Find the fruition. He's like, fine. You deliver my food to me. I don't look for shit. Let's get to the skirmish. Also, Wendy had a point. Y'all dead ass stole her outfit and put it in your line. And quiet as it's kept, it looks a lot like Karen's outfit, too. But the group gets to talking at the end of the night about Gabrissi's pappy being in the hospital. And Candace said, I'm going to wish her well from afar, but I don't fuck with that heifer from a near. And after you did what you did to her husband, I respect it. Wendy said, look, y'all made fun of my mama. So <laughs> I ain't got nothing to say. And so we end it with only a whisper of the skirmish. Fuck you, bravo. Fuck you. Shed media should be shit media. Oh, goodness. So Deborah tried to start shit with Candace, and that's how the fight got going. I knew a Muppet was behind it. I can't believe they're going to save the skirmish, you sorry fuckers. Andy Cohen, I swear I'm going to hit you so hard your eye goes straight. Maybe you're bussy, too.